You know, some days when you're not torturing souls in the depths of their hell, making them sh bananas for the funsies. Oh, only me? Well, I forgot not everybody is a DD ruler. But getting bored as always, I this time wanted to reincarnate as a human waking up in the back of some sketchy EDM club. How did we even get here? But who knows? Let's go ahead and see who we're dealing with. Let's enter the name. One live round, two blanks. So the basics of this game, what I can gather is that we're playing a fancy game of Russian roulette. And what we have to do is not get ourselves shot shelled, whether it's by us shooting ourselves or by this strange creature in front of us. I guess he'll be called strange creature. Also, we get a glimpse in how many lives versus blanks we got here. So it's a matter of probability, you can say. As I made my first decision. I'm probably gonna die in this one. I'm gonna die. Well, that was pretty anticlimactic. But I do promise that it will get intense. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Again, with my empty promises of impending death via chance, still not really sure why exactly I'm here. After the first round was done, only for some added add-ons to step up our game. At least we didn't have to pay for a DLC. But to put it short, we get these random items, like I said, which can help us or hurt us in this oh-so family-friendly game that doesn't involve death and despair. Again, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Why am I here? What's that? Suspicious as if we're not supposed to see this waiver at all. We pretend to ignore it for the moment and continue to play with our dance with death. And that particular one does double damage. But after a while, after a couple more lucky turns and not so lucky ones while I get the fib back to life. Get up, demon. The night is young. I'm back. For every god, there's always a demon, at least. Ah, right there. Okay, two, two lab rounds, two blanks. I'll take the chance. Ah. <laughs> oh, I love it. I guess you could say that my luck is pretty iffy this time around. I mean, the chances of having two blanks next to each other. The odds. So hoping that luck was on my side. Okay, I died. <laughs> and this constant dance with this dealer while also getting brought back to life many, many times until it starts to click. <laughs> and after I take my shot at the dealer, only for him, to double down. Unless we arrive at the final showdown. No more defibrillators and no more blood transfusions. Now we are new. We are dancing at the edge of life and death. Ooh. Meaning actual death. My current concern is how does a defibrillator just bring someone to life constantly with persistent gun wounds? Am I really a mortal being at that point? So this time in the third round, I decide to take the chance. Well, at least I know the next ones are blue. Okay. Ooh. We get four blues and four reds, meaning this could be 50-50. And to be honest, I did not expect the dealer to shoot itself. Seriously, wasn't really expecting it. But with my luck high, as if it's maxed out, I took the opportunity. That was two. And without hesitation, as if on instinct, I pulled the trigger. Are you ready? Oh, fuck yeah, man. What do I get? A lot of money. Dolores, eh? And in exchange of this deadly game, 
is currency, specifically 50s. With that done, we ride off with our reward and shotgun in the back. And as for the rest of my life, well, definitely far away from this place. And maybe a place that has a bit more sun. I hear the Philippines sounds nice, especially Boracay. Is that how you say it?